Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you guys for your support lately. Please continue to like, share, and um, comment. Commenting right now is going to put you in the raffle for the two channel love letters I'm gonna do once I reach 6,000. So I appreciate your guys' support. For some reason, Leo was on my mind this morning, so um, I'm gonna do a Leo reading for mid-June and see what is going on with you guys. Um, yeah, so um, I think that's all I had to say right now. I I just saw the owl, and then it went away, and I saw it again. And when I first saw it, I felt compelled to use it. By the way, I'm wearing these bracelets, these beautiful bracelets from Rising Sun Oracle. I'll put her information below. They're beautiful crystals, and they're good for healing, balancing, grounding, and all that good stuff, protecting. So let's see what it says about the owl for you guys for mid-June. My friend saw an owl. It was so crazy. It flew up to her window and it had these huge yellow eyes. It's crazy. It was like um, someone told me that it could have been like her grandfather visiting her because it was like literally looking at her in her window in her house. I am in tune with the magic in my life. Magic. That's what the owl represents. So... Owls have been associated with magic and mystery in countless mythologies throughout history. This mystical bird is completely silent in flight, can see in the dark, and has super sensitive hearing. It's no wonder owls accompany witches and wizards on their quests. Owl dares you to be open to the magic and mystery in your life. We complain when things aren't going our way and we wish that things could be different. Meanwhile, the universe is preparing something marvelous specifically for you. It just hasn't been revealed yet. Owl asks you to look at your life with hopeful anticipation rather than anticipatory anxiety. Reflect on your life story and recall a negative circumstance that led to a positive opportunity. Think of a current situation in your life that you wish was different and then imagine three extraordinary outcomes this situation could lead you to. The next time you are facing adversity, ask yourself if this could be happening for a reason that is not yet apparent. Be open to magic you never know in what form it will appear. So, yeah, I think this is a really beautiful message. You just don't know where the path's going to take you. Um, if you've been seeing owls, that's like a sign that there's like a brand new beginning starting. I saw a lot of owl stuff right before I had major life-changing surgery. So I feel there was like a message from the divine telling you it's all going to be okay. Might be a, a crossed over loved one, okay? So they're really magical beings. Maybe having some owl stuff around you could help inspire you. I don't know. Let's see what else is going on with Leo for mid-June. Mending bridges, kiss and make up, okay? So maybe there is a mending of bridges here for you. Um, maybe you're going to be reconnecting to someone from the past. Maybe that's the magic of your life is you just never know who's going to come back from the past and what's going to happen. Positive thinking. This is such a synchronistic sign, sunshine after the rain. I feel like you guys are going to have a very good june mid-june or at least it's going to lead to something really positive for you okay so be positive be in that high vibration headed in the right direction wow you guys this is crazy so you're going exactly where you're supposed to be going trust everything you've been through walk over these bridges and know there's going to be sunshine after the rain that's so amazing you guys are in a really good place you might not feel like it but it's all leading you to where you're supposed to be going okay there's a big energy right now about revisiting old people like from the past and reconnecting and um, making, you know, amends with people. I've already gone in my last two sign readings. So I'm going to make six piles here, mental, emotional and soul space for you and mental, emotional and soul space for your person. I've been saying in all my readings that um, it's really good to be doing these readings again because this was like my bread and butter for my channel and I do enjoy the channel love letters. I've really gotten, you know, good feedback on that and it's also an area that I feel passionate about but I'm a very um, variety-based person and I like to be able to do both. So I did put that poll out there to see, you know, what you guys prefer because I want to make sure I'm honoring both my old peeps and my new peeps or maybe some of my old peeps are liking the direction I'm going. But like I said, commenting is really big right now because it will put you in the raffle. I'm going to do uh, at 6,000, I'm going to do two channel love letters and I think at 8,000, I'm going to do just one and then maybe at 10,000, I will do two again. Um... So I'm using my moody moon messages, honoring the cycle of the divine feminine to see how you're feeling on your side. 
and I'm using my from him to her to see what the masculine would want to communicate to you on their side. I'm going to use spirit of darkness and light also to see what's going on with you guys. And I'm going to use textured tarot for your guys' side. I use the reigning rouge for their side. The masculine you're dealing with, the person you're dealing with, whoever it is, whether it's a twin flame, a soulmate, we're checking in with your energies. It's really interesting because a lot of times you guys are mirroring each other in each like mind, heart, and soul space with each other. So these all came out. I'm going to um, keep all of them. There are four usually. Well, no, I'm not going to keep that one. Okay. I'm going to keep three. All right. So let's see where you're at in your mental space. Secretive. I'm not sharing how I really feel. For some reason, your boundaries are up. You're not being completely transparent. Maybe you feel like you don't want to give all your cards away. Maybe you feel like you're dealing with someone else who's been secretive and you don't want to necessarily show how you feel. Maybe there's things inside of you you want to protect and they're sacred and you feel like if you share them, you're making yourself vulnerable and you're exposing something that could be um, really detrimental to you, okay? So you're allowed to be that way. Spirit of the Grim Reaper, death ending winter. You feel like there's an ending here. You might have already dealt with an ending, um, but you have six of swords, so you're recovering from this. You're moving forward from this. I don't feel like you guys are taking too long to dwell on it because you have the six of swords. There's already movement. Um, and I feel like you don't want to just stare at a dead horse forever. And you're going in the right direction. So you're moving. You're not just standing still with this. But you may be making moves that you're not telling people about. But you're moving out of this turbulent place and you're healing and moving on to a brighter energy, which is amazing. All right. So where are they at? And this could be the actual relationship or just dynamics of the relationship that ended. Maybe you're ready for a new chapter in the relationship. That social media post was meant for you. Okay, so may, they may be secretly, you're secretive, but they might be sub, um, subliminally sending you messages through social media posts to make you feel connected to them or to make you jealous or something here, okay? They want a new beginning, though. They want to start fresh. They see a possibility of maybe a future beginning with you, and that's where I feel like you're at, too. So this thing that's fresh. You inspire my mind and fill me with light creative. I feel like they get a lot of energy from you. You inspire them. You, want to, you help them want to start new beginnings, okay? All right, let's see where you're at in your emotion space. Strolling down memory lane, nostalgic. So I feel like you guys are moving forward, but you do think about the past frequently. You do reflect back on, you know, what things maybe could have been or what they were or, you know, you're looking at the past in your heart space. Your heart feels very sentimental right now. Spirit of the shoreline, calm, tranquil, relaxing. But I don't feel like it's like stirring up this negativity in you. I feel like it's actually just making you feel calm. Maybe you think back on positive memories because it helps you manifest a sense of calmness within you, okay? And you do have Empress. This is Libra and Taurus energy, but this is also you taking care of yourself, you honoring yourself. So even though you may be reflecting in your heart on things, you're not doing anything to lower yourself. You're staying in a really high vibration. And I just feel that with a lot of your cards, even not even the words here, but the sun here, which is you guys. You're very in your own element. You're taking care of yourself. You're in a high vibration. So I love that. And they might really be recognizing that you're putting yourself first, even though you're looking back at the past. They're nostalgic too. I wish I could lay in bed with you, smell your hair and rub your body, which is very like, they see you like the empress. They see you as desirable and beautiful and like a goddess. And they just want to absorb you and everything you are and smell your hair and be in your essence. It's really crazy that you got the empress in your heart space. And this is where they're at. There's nothing I can do about it right now, but they're limited for some reason. They can't do these things. So they have these wishes and desires, but they can't fulfill them. And they've got King of Swords. So they're staying detached. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you could be dealing with this. You have a Libra energy in your, um, in your heart space, and they have maybe a Libra energy too. So there's air sign energy here. You could be dealing with an air sign um, but they're staying detached. They're staying logical. They feel limited and it's their mind that's kind of creating this, but their mind is trying to stay in a very logical state here. Okay. All right. Where are you at in your soul space? unbridled, feeling free and untethered. I love it. Like I said, you may be nostalgic, but it's not holding you back. You're free to go. You're free to do whatever you want. You're free to pursue your future. You feel beautiful. You feel amazing. Like if you don't feel that way, I feel like you will feel that 
I just said feel a million times. Feel, feel, feel. You might feel like that as the month goes on. This is a mid-June reading. And you're ascending, you're progressing, the long way home, spirit of the staircase. So I just feel a lot of movement from you guys. I feel a lot of you getting into a higher and higher vibration. Uh, there's a song, take me higher. Hi Anyways, okay. Um, and then you have six of cups, which is weird because it's another nostalgia card. This soulmate connection, I feel this is also a reconciliation. So I feel like you guys might feel the only way to reconcile is by first finding that inner child-like connection that you had to this person. This is beautiful with the dolphin. But then you will eventually mend bridges. You will revisit the past when you get to your point of like, ascension i feel like um part of your ascension is revisiting maybe your childhood connections your past lives okay um just mending things from the past to get to this full state in the present and the future they have i projected my insecurities on you when i was aware so this could have been maybe traumatic for you guys because you guys could have absorbed a lot of their insecurities so i now feel like you're building yourself back up and but they feel bad I just said they feel bad and then I pulled the empathy card I feel your pain more than you know so you guys are connected on this emotional level and they feel bad about how they made you feel they feel empathetic they feel your experience you know but I feel like I keep saying feel you guys aren't dwelling on it as much as maybe they feel the pain of what they did all right and then three of swords so they're actually in a heartache space they're broken from what they did to you they're the ones that are in this state of pain all right their pain they're kind of still projecting their own pain onto you maybe it's hard for them to own their pain i'm going to pull one last card from the twin flame poetic confessions and get one last message for you guys leos for mid-june all right Denial. I live my life in a haze. I can't seem to find my way. It's too painful to face, face myself reality I've placed on a shelf. I literally just said that. So they're saying, I feel your pain, right? But they're also saying, I projected my insecurity. So they project even their pain onto you because it's easier for them to stay in denial. They can't face themselves. Wow, that's crazy that I said that. All right, so guys, keep doing what you're doing. Keep taking care of yourself. Keep moving forward. You're in a great place. And thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.